Charlotte is home to so many groundbreaking figures, including Joan Higginbotham. She was just a third African-American woman in space. Now she's on a different mission to inspire the next generation of astronauts. Take a look. Joan Higginbotham never dreamed of going into space. I wanted to be an electrical engineer, and that was my goal from probably about eighth grade on. She thought a career at IBM would be her next stop following college in 1987. But they weren't really hiring engineers. They were gonna bring me on as a salesperson and, and move me over eventually. Until NASA called. I got a call from a manager one night asking me if I wanted to move to Florida to launch space shuttles. Um, and, and that's kind of how it all began. In 1987, Joan Higginbotham began her career at the Kennedy Space Center, Florida as a payload engineer. Throughout her nine-year tenure, she worked her way through numerous promotions, resulting in her participating in 53 space shuttle launches. I prepared myself. I, I went to school, got more degrees. I you know, took different courses. I took advantage of opportunities when they came my way from a career perspective. Her work ethic then led her to the Johnson Space Center in Houston in 1996 after being selected as an astronaut candidate by NASA. On December 6, 2006, Joan Higginbotham became the third African-American woman to travel into space. That day, she was a part of a 12-day mission on the International Space Station, clocking in 20 hours and 45 minutes. If given the chance, I would do it all over again, and I'd, I'd fly tomorrow if they called me up and asked me to. Now in retirement, she calls Charlotte home. Higginbotham works at Collins Aerospace, where she encourages women to pursue careers in STEM. I really feel that it's incumbent on me to get those girls really encouraged uh, to, to say, look, I, I did it. it. It was hard. It was challenging, but I did it. And if I can do it, I know you can do it. Ruby Durham, WCNC Charlotte.